we have Colin. Colin, Colin, Colin. Ooh, ooh. God, Colin. Just so that you know, and you can put it in your diaries, I have my star ordering system here. And Colin Clark, yes, will be featuring on August the 6th with Paul Skeck. And he will be doing a retrospective. And the retrospective will be absolutely wonderful because it's an Adam Gibson retrospective. Do I have that correct? You do. Yes. Aha. So, big round of applause for future feature Colin Clark. Thank you, Lish. Um, okay, so this week is a bit of a bit of a diversion from the stuff I normally do. Um, I've just been doing a bit of sort of playing around with words and a few sort of experimental things. Um, I've kind of learned a few weird stuff this week as well. Um, so the first the first poem is basically kind of pretty much entirely made up of uh, words that are stolen from other languages or used from other languages. Um, one thing I learned is that they're called loan words, apparently. Um, the other thing I learned is the very, very bizarre origin of the word penguin. Which, for some utterly bizarre reason, comes from Welsh. Now, I've been to Wales. There's not a heap of penguins there. But, there we go. Alright, <clears throat> so we'll, uh, we'll give this strange bit of nonsense a go. <clears throat> okay. Cushy manana rendezvous at a chic gourmet delicatessen for a tete a tete. We sit on a cosy al fresco sofa on the patio. I place my rucksack on the lawn. I have coffee with sugar and a cashew cookie while she has a lemon tea and a jumbo chocolate croissant. The cafe is cosy but rather kitsch with checked linen and flamingos galore. Garbled piano jazz jive, no banjo, plays through the cigar and hashish smoke. We try to remain anonymous, be suave, that's our mantra. Glamour is her thing. She's wearing an orange caftan and a scarlet beret. I'm not so dapper, in denim and a khaki jumper. I lost my mojo. <coughs> Through the bamboo on the, ver uh, bamboo on the veranda, <coughs> we can see the traffic. I'm recounting a saga of penguins skating a waltz on icebergs, but suddenly some hooligans make a hullabaloo before falling victim to a tsunami created by a juggernaut. That's schadenfreude, we think. Justice, genuine karma. She blinks, sachets off the deck, up the boulevard for yoga with her shaman, a sauna and a massage. I read a magazine, schmooze the boss, a savvy entrepreneur, leave cash in the jar and leave on my moped. I'm just an average schmuck on a sabbatical. I imagine I'm a desperado, cruising, pistol in a holster, fighting an onslaught of cartoon robots, assassins, mafia, masked ninjas and macabre zombies. I know it's phony, but it's my modus operandi. I know karaoke, or is it karate? I'm a gung-ho, kung-fu, macho, tai chi, feng shui, gorilla, guru, prima donna, in moccasins. Behind, behind the arena, I frolic in my element, the urban metropolis, jungle safari. Just my luck, my bet noir, some nasty garbage, scum, drug dopes, bundle en masse, all muscle pumped, hit like a poltergeist, typhoon, hurricane, a fracaris, kamikaze, so I call their bluff, kowtow and scarpa. I'm compost mentis. My wanderlust satisfied, fate accompli, status quo restored, it's time for some alcohol and a siesta to dream of my magnum opus. <laughs> Okay, yeah, this one's also a bit of a, a slightly strange um, flight of fancy, um, just playing on words. Um, I kind of realised that there's an enormous amount of um, animal names that can also be used as verbs, and that's kind of it. It's called the animal verbs. <coughs> I'm sorry to bug you, I nearly chickened out. I tried to weasel out of it, to duck out of the room and fly. I don't want to hog the feline lights or cock it up, because I'm inclined to rabbit it on, yak, yak, yak. But I was badgered into finishing this poem. I felt like slugging them. I won't rat on the culprit. I tried to bat it away. It was all like a bear, but they rammed home their message. I cowed down, swallowed my pride, wolfed down my dinner. I stopped larking and monkeying around, ferreted around for a pen, squirreled myself away and beavered on it for hours. At times, I was floundering. My creativity would clam up trying not to leech off others' ideas, or to ape someone's style, or to parrot anyone's accent. 
ear wigging on conversations was a source of inspiration. I don't want to crow, swan around, carping on, and I don't expect you to fawn. I'm not fishing for compliments as I try to worm my way into your affections. But I'm ticking it off as a success. Well, I bucked the trend, and here it is, signed, sealed, and delivered. Thank you.